Welcome back. You're watching Overdrive. We started the show with Tata Motors and let's end it with Mahindra. It's the first Indian conglomerate to dive into MotoGP and it's all set to take on the challenge to fight for the honours in the 2013 Moto3 World Championship. Sandeep Srikant caught up with the team to find out more about its plans and its strategy. Take a look. First Indian team to participate in the highest levels of motorcycle racing. Mahindra Racing's two years at the pinnacle of the sport have been frantic, fairly successful and all about learning. In 2011, the team entered the 125cc World Championship and scored regular points, crowning its debut season with a pole position in the last race. In 2012, Mahindra Racing and every other team hit reset and started afresh in the all-new Moto3 class. But as the season progressed, Mahindra Racing's vastly more experienced rivals sped away, leaving the team with valuable experience and a clear indication of what needed to be done to be competitive in 2013, starting with a new technical collaboration with Swiss-based Suter Racing Technologies. 2011 was a good season, you know, for your first season, but in an established class, the 125 class. 2012, the Moto3 class, the first time it was racing, level playing field for everyone, but also a new challenge for everyone. So, you know, over the season, perhaps, the team had a little trouble evolving the bike at the rate that a KTM or a Honda was doing. So, is that the thought process behind the tie-up with Suter as well? So obviously, they know how to develop a machine through the season. Last year, I agree with you, was, was a year where there were a lot of learnings. Um, some disappointments as well. And uh, we we really, but but I think the good part was, we took stock of the situation very early in the year, and uh, we, you know, we signed up uh, with Suter in August. So, uh, within the first few months itself, we had realized that uh, uh, you know our machine needs to be completely reworked. We then we then decided to, in fact, complete you know make a completely new machine for next year, and uh, that's how we started looking for a partner who would actually help us, um, you know, get that machine in place. Uh, so, uh, yes, 2012 have been uh, you know has been a year of learning, uh, learning largely on what you act I actually said. Absolutely right. We couldn't develop the machine as fast as uh, you know the competition did, and that's how we you know we weren't really uh, you know right up there as one of the best teams around. Uh, but but uh, there have been tremendous learnings that have come in for last year, and all of them have gone into uh, the program for the two thousand for 2013 and beyond. So um, uh, you know, and 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 I think. Uh, Every manufacturer would have gone through this learning process. I mean, um, you know, the competition that we're speaking about has been in racing for many, many years. I mean, this was just our second year. Uh, what I'm really happy about is that we've, we've uh, taken the hard decisions and, uh, you know, we decided to kind of come in with a completely new partner and a completely new machine for 2013. So uh, that I hope will stand in good stead uh, for us for, for the season ahead. Along with the new technical partners, Mahindra Racing has an all new rider lineup for 2013. 26-year-old Spaniard Efren Vasquez and 18-year-old rising star Miguel Oliveira from Portugal. They were in India last week ahead of the team's first test session of the year. Efren, you're 26 years old but you've been racing in the 250ccs, in 125s and in Moto3 now since 2007 I believe. So how does it work in the team, the dynamics between the two of you? Are you going to be the rider who perhaps takes the lead on developing the bike a little more and pushing the team forward early in the season? I have uh, a lot of experience no, in, in motor, motorcycle. Uh, maybe no so much, so many races in, in World Championship but uh, I think now is a, a good project. I believe, all, of course, in, in this project and on the company, and I think I have uh, a lot of experience in, on the racing for, for get uh, a best opportunity or, or best solutions for, for this season. So. Miguel, 18 years old, the first rider from Portugal really to make it on the international stage so far. Two podium positions last year, one in Catalonia, one in Australia. You raced last year with the Suter team, albeit with Honda engines. So this year, is that relationship with Suter a little bit of a comfort? Do you know the people there? Do you know what you're getting into in that sense as well? Yes, for sure it's a comfort because uh, I'm carrying out uh, also two of my technicians that worked with me last year who, developed, uh, who helped to develop the, the Suter bike. Um, so I also know the, the bike and uh, we know uh, how the bike can work and we know what the bike needs to, to improve. Uh, and yeah, for one side we have uh, Efren, he's mainly he, he rides a really good bike here last year in, uh, in terms of frame. It was a bike that uh, was a reference 
somehow to, to every rider, so it's good to have uh, his feedback uh, riding with, with the suitor and maybe he can can help us uh, decide a, a little bit what's, uh, what's the best for the bike. Tell our viewers a little bit about the evolution of a test session. So you have three test sessions. How do you start developing the bike with the aim of, you know, you got a brand new bike that you're going to ride. How are you going to take it to a bike that you're comfortable riding by the time you get to Qatar? For Efren, it's a new bike, it's a new frame. Uh, so no, he, he'll need to adapt. Um, also, also for me, I just uh, just need to ride, just uh, get the feelings back to me, and then we can start the real work and uh, his, the things, uh, the details we need to establish with uh, with our technical stuff, what which things that uh, we want to try, and uh, make the best bike as possible to start the first race. Efron, you've been listening very carefully to what he's saying, but it's the same thing, really, isn't it? Work out the little details first and then make sure that you're ready to go for the race? Uh, of course, Miguel said I need to, to adapt to, to the new frame, also with the new engine, but the most important is, is the, the new frame, and I need to make uh, some kilometers with the new bike, no? Uh, lap, 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 laps, and some laps on the track, for because it's important to, to understand what's happened on the bike, no? If you don't have a kilometers and training, some laps in, in this bike, you cannot understand nothing of what happened in, in your bike. No? So I think this is the most important. And, and then first, first training and, and first is IRTA test, we need to, to improve and to make some laps. And the uh, technical stuff to, to improve with the details of the engine. Sure, we have a lot of work. And important is to work together. Gentlemen, thank you so much for talking to us and the very best of luck for the 2013 season. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good luck to mind the racing. On that note, it is time for us to wrap up this episode of Overdrive. As always, keep your feedback coming in to our Facebook and our Twitter pages. You can stay in touch with our teams there as well. You can also catch the highlights of our show on our YouTube channel. But till next week, from all of us here, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Drive safe. Stay smart.